I had a really good night's sleep last night, about nine hours, eight and a half, nine hours, something like that, which was much needed, feeling fully recovered and ready to make the most of my two days off work now after doing a late shift last night. If you saw yesterday's video, you'll know that. So yeah, two days off now, then I'm on an early on Saturday, and I've got Sunday off as well before my late week. So perfect timing to get in a solid back and bicep session today and a shoulder session tomorrow. Potentially a rest day on Saturday when I'm at work and then back to arms on Sunday. But we'll see, honestly see how I feel after my shoulder session, see if I need the rest day or not. And that will determine whether I go straight into arms or take the rest day. And that's why I like to have a flexible program. So I'm not saying I have to take a rest day here no matter what. It's only if I need it. Anyway, I weighed in at 84.25 kg first thing this morning. So here's how the physique is looking at the start of the day. Of course, haven't eaten anything yet. Haven't had many fluids. And of course, have no pump to speak of whatsoever. But hopefully that will be changing later with the back and biceps because yeah, I love a good lat and bicep pump. I think it definitely makes the physique look better. I mean, I think all pumps that I can get make my physique look better because the beautiful thing about the pump is obviously the muscles that you hit are gonna get the most pump. But even when my chest has got a pump, my lats are also still gonna have a little bit of a pump just because of the role they play in stabilizing. And ultimately when you get your body moving in intense exercise, there's just more blood flowing to all of your muscles regardless. But obviously there are, there are differences I've noticed between each pump. Which makes it more, all more exciting to check out after a session as it's kind of a view into the future of your potential of what gains that you can actually make in the coming months. So without further ado, let's go and get some breakfast. So here are the supplements I'm currently taking on a daily basis. I have two squares of the 100% dark chocolate first thing in the morning alongside one multivitamin and an omega-3 fish oil along with some electrolytes mixed into my water. And then I'll have three omega-3 fish oils throughout the day, one with each of my meals. So for my first meal of the day, I've got some scrambled eggs with avocado. Then I've got some porridge oats with fruit and cinnamon. I kicked off today's session with some weighted wide grip pull-ups, of course using my lifting straps to take my forearms and grip out of the equation to better isolate my lats. I had 6.25 kg on my waist, which is an increase of 1.25 kg from my previous session as I maxed out on eight reps on both sets with five kilos on my waist. So I managed to get seven reps in this first set that you're watching here, which I was pleasantly surprised about. Didn't expect to get so close to the top of the rep range with the added weight on. However, I did only manage to get five reps in the second set. So still plenty of room for improvement here. And yeah, grinded out a few partials at the end just to try and prepare my lats for that next session where I try and push a bit closer to those eight reps. Then I switched over to the neutral grip position, which I like to do after my wide grips because I feel that I'm significantly stronger in the neutral grip position. So I prefer to get my wide grip pull-ups out of the way first so that I can still hit the target rep range for those as if I did the neutral grips beforehand, then I think I'd struggle a lot more on my wide grips, but I managed to get six reps in that set with the same amount of weight on my waist. Then I moved over to do some barbell rows with 80 kilos on the barbell, including the barbell itself, and managed to get eight reps on this first set that you've just watched. And then on my second set, I managed to get seven reps so very close to being able to move up in weight on this exercise and hopefully I'll be able to hit two sets of eight reps in my next session so I can add another two and a half kilos to the bar. 
then on to isolating my biceps after sufficiently fatiguing my lats and of course your biceps are involved in all of those compound lat movements but i like these as a bicep finisher some easy bar curls with 32 and a half kilos on the bar including the bar itself i managed to get 12 reps on both of my sets here so we'll once again be able to progress up in weight now with these to better isolate my biceps i try to lean over to keep my form a bit more strict especially on the early reps However, later on in the set, I'm happy to lean back and allow myself to use a bit more momentum just to really grind out the last few reps as I think it's warranted to achieve failure. As long as the first kind of eight to 10 reps have got really good and strict form where I'm not just swinging the weight around a load, I'm pretty satisfied with my performance. And since using momentum, I was able to previously easy bar curl around 40 kilos. I think I should continue to progress up in weight quite quickly with this stricter form. It's just a case of adapting to having more tension on my biceps throughout the range of motion. Then I headed to the change rooms to check out the pump as I promised at the start of the video. And yeah, lat spread is looking pretty decent today. Unable to touch my shoulders with the bicep pump, which is a great sign of a successful back and bicep session. It felt good to kind of bounce back after the, yesterday's pretty lackluster chest and tricep session, but more progress made in the back and bicep department, which for me is more important as I think my back and biceps are a bit more lacking than my chest. You can pause the video here if you wanna check out my sets, reps and weights lifted throughout the session if you're interested in that. Then on my way home from the gym, I got myself a grenade protein bar and some dark chocolate. Then I've got some beef with veggies and potatoes. Then I've got some chicken breast with veggies and a sweet potato. And that concludes a pretty successful day of this lean bulk. I'll put my calories and macros on screen for you. Right around 3,300 calories consumed which is much better than yesterday and the best day I've had in a while in terms of eating. And accompanying that was a solid back and bicep session. So overall, very happy with how today went. I am recording this a bit late in the evening as I almost forgot to edit the video and record the outro, but doing it now nonetheless, and it will be, of course, uploaded on time. I do post my videos the day after I film them, so I do have a little bit of leeway, and I have in the past recorded these outros in the morning after. But obviously I think it's better if I record it the, de the same day, just so that the reflection is more fresh in my mind and I'm not thinking about the next workout and the next day of eating. But yeah, overall, very happy, and gonna be moving on to a shoulder session tomorrow, so hopefully I will see you there for it. Cheers.